Ten years ago, me and my husband planted three maple trees in front of our house for shade and relief from uh, a hot sun. And now, as a result of that, after 10 years of good of growth, we have a lot of branches which needs to be trimmed because we need to raise the canopy of those trees. So look at this treasure I ended up the other day. A lot of branches and for some people those branches can be a headache to get rid of but for me it is a treasure. Maybe as you know from my previous videos I use sticks and a lot of um, branches. I recycle them and I reuse them for different purposes in my garden. So here I make sure that I harvest as much of wood as I can from these branches. I'm trying to create an obelisk. And here I'm trying to uh, take sticks of the same shape approximately. And uh, as you can see, these uh, branches are very uh, curvy and they're young. So it is kind of hard to find sticks of the same shape. Smaller sticks are going to be used as plant support. These are very useful in my garden. I find them to be um, quite blending with the surrounding area. You can't see them among the plants and they do the role of supporting foliage very well. My salvia at the back of my garden, right here to the right of me, doesn't get a lot of sun and recently we had a lot of wind, so this salvia started sagging a little bit, it fell, so I'm going to support it with the help of these sticks and you wouldn't be able even to see them. Salvia will straighten up her wings and sticks will do the job. The salvia is an annual, it attracts a lot of bees, it's a great pollinator plant. So here, and I have several sticks still left for other supports to do. I collected eight, approximately, eight long sticks, approximately the same shape, to create the obelisk. Several years ago, my garden won the award in our town for very creative garden design. And uh, the lady who was giving me the award mentioned particularly that I uh, dared to install two raised beds in front of my house. Well, that was a necessity since I don't have a lot of space at the back and I still want to grow vegetables. So two raised beds went into the front of my house. I'm raising their uh, peas from seeds and uh, I do need some sort of support for those peas to climb happily. This obelisk I think will do the job. And right now it does look a little bit flimsy and not sturdy, but with the help of a lot of connections I would be able to make the construction sturdy and um, hopefully it will be able to withstand to the pressure of the wind and weight of plants on it. Still unsturdy. Obelisk is going to have eight vertical long sticks. I'm using smaller ones uh, to connect those long ones together. It's not a difficult job. It can be a very fun time 
for the whole family to do, especially when you have small children. Just be careful with the drill. And by the way, for this project, I'm using drywall screws. The reason is because they are dark, they are gray, nobody can see them. They uh, blend in with um, the wood and they don't attract any attention to themselves. I would not recommend for you to use uh, uh, nails for this project. Nails are difficult to hammer in and um, since the construction of uh, stick uh, projects is kind of flimsy hammering in nails can be difficult much better with the screws as you can see i used eight long sticks in approximately the same shape i tried the sticks to be kind of curved into one direction and i used that curve to create the top of uh, obelisk Those horizontal connections will make obelisk sturdy and I make sure that I put a screw in every section. I have to play with uh, different shapes of sticks. Not a single line in this project is straight, so sometimes I um, follow the line, natural line of sticks. As you can see here, it's curved and it fits so well into that position. Here we go. My obelisk is ready. It's a little bit heavy, but it's very sturdy. Thanks to all the connections I made there. And by the way, do you see who is there? the adorable destructor of my garden, baby rabbit. So here we are at the, big, at the front of my garden. I successfully installed my obelisk into the vegetable bed where we have peas anxiously waiting to climb on something. Hopefully in a day or two, my peas will get adjusted and they will soar to the height. Happy gardening, my dear friends! I will see you next time!